Good afternoon. Today with this presentation, I'm going to tell you what the data says about the users of the sample and how we can implement that information in our marketing strategy. But first, I will make some clarifications regarding the context so we can be on the same page. First of all, this, this case study was proposed in the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate on Coursera, which means I did not work for Bellabit, nor did I give them recommendations. Now, Bellabit is a tech company that makes smart products fo focused on women's health, such as a tracker and smartwatch that tracks sleep, activity, and stress, and an app that is connected to the other two and also provides data on menstrual cycle and mindfulness habits. On the other hand, the data I'm using corresponds to April and May 2016, so even though we are in February 2022, I'm going to use this data because it's the one proposed by the certificate. The data used for this study is open source and was provided by the Google user, Mobius. This means that the data may not be as reliable as data sold by a company or internal data, but this doesn't mean that it's not reliable at all. This dataset contains information about 33 different users of the company, Fitbit, and how active they were throughout the days of the sample. Fitbit is also in the health-oriented tech industry, so the information is useful to us, even though their clients aren't just only women. Okay, so the purpose of this study was to gain insight into how people are already using their smart devices and then use this information to give recommendations about how these trends can help our marketing strategy. So with this in mind and knowing that we are dealing with data related to user activity, we need a parameter to know when an activity becomes physical activity. According to the Mayo Clinic, these are the amount of calories burned in an hour for different activities or a person that weighs 73 kilograms. As we can see, in general, physical activities burn at least 300 calories per hour. So, our parameter to differentiate physical activities from a normal activity is that the former, the physical activity, consumes at least 300 calories per hour, or its equivalent. Now it's time to ask, how active are the users in this sample? The data shows that about 41.5% of the days, or three days a week, users are more than 30 minutes active. About 18.2% of the days, about one day a week, they are 30 minutes or less physically active, and they are not physically active at all, 40.3% of the days, about three days a week. So now, we can say that the users in this sample perform more than 30 minutes of physical activity about three days a week, 30 minutes or less about one day a week, and no physical activity at all the other three days of the week. Now, I think it's better to, worry, to go a little deeper into the degree of activity of the users. So first I organize the sample by the number of minutes of physical activity of every day in increasing order meaning that the first day has the least minutes and the last day has the most. We can see this organization on the x-axis of the, of the visualization in which, for a better understanding, I have used percentages. That is, the 20% that we can see on the x-axis refers to the 20% of days with the fewest minutes of physical activity. Now, understanding this graph, the intersection of the black lines indicates that the top 25% of the values to are equal to or greater than 58 minutes, which means that one out of four days, almost two days a week, the users in the sample train at least almost one hour. So adding to the previous information about the sample users, we can say that they generally do about one hour of physical activity throughout the day, almost two days a week. Now, we can ask ourselves, when do users prefer to train throughout the day? 
To answer this question, we have this graph showing the total amount of minutes of physical activity allocated to each hour in the whole sample. For example, if only two users train for 30 minutes only one day at 4 a.m. in the dataset, the amount of minutes shown in the visualization for 4 a.m. will be 60. Okay. In this graph, we can see that the closer we are to the evening between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m., the more users exercise. This trend is also shown by the black line. Finally, we can also say that the users of this sample tend to train more the closer to the time is to the evening. So, knowing that the data we are using for this analysis come from a company that has a similar target audience to ours, we can conclude that a good target audience for our marketing strategy could be women who exercise for 30 minutes or more three days a week. Two of those days can be more than one hour and also tend to train in the evening. Another thing important to talk about are the limitations of this analysis. The things that we have to take into consider consideration at the moment we evaluate the previous result. First is the reliability of the data. The data could be more reliable if it was provided from internal sources or even if we, if we had bought it from a company that sells information. Also, to have a better analysis, we need information of each user, such as, for example, weight, height, and age, to have a better understanding of the level of activity of the users at a certain moment. Establishing that, this is because establishing that an activity is physical activity when it burns 300 calories an hour is a generalization. Okay. And lastly, we don't know the gender of the users of the sample. And this might or might not affect the results. To have a better analysis, we need that all the users of the sample to be female. Finally, to conclude this presentation, I would like to ask you, I would like to ask you if I have not explained myself well at some point or if you have any questions. Okay, so instead of listening to me in complete silence, pretending to wait for possible questions, I want to thank you for watching until the end of this video and picking some interest in this project of mine. So thank you, have a good day.